Hey there, I'm team behavior expert Josh Shipp. Now, I have a lot of parents come to me and say, Josh, my kid has become an alien since hitting middle school and or puberty. What do I say and what can I do to make the difference in getting the dialogue open and back on track? All right, well, first of all, it's not your fault that your kid is an alien. That's the fault of puberty. So it's not your fault that they have morphed into this weird alien life, life, uh, life form. But it is your responsibility to break through and get to the heart of your kid. Now, here is how most kids spell love. T-I-M-E. They need time with you. I call it the be with factor. Just be with your middle schooler. Be with your kid, be with your teen. When they are having a difficult time communicating their feelings and seem distant, uh, you know, taking time to be with them is pretty much all you can give them. And that's pretty much all they need. You know, many parents will complain that their kids just won't talk to them. Look, most middle school students, uh, as an example, can't articulate their feelings. They're like a jumbled up mess of hormones at that phase in their life. So it's an emotional, you know, sort of hormone cocktail inside of themselves. So it's understandable they can't sort of artfully articulate what they're going through. And sometimes they just don't understand, you know, everything that's going on inside of them, let alone have the, you know, sort of mental maturity or emotional maturity to articulate that to their parent. So don't be stressed out by that. Another one of the main reasons why most parents don't understand their middle school students, as an example, is because their most middle school students don't even understand themselves. Right? They are changing at such a rapid rate. Everything is changing around them. Nothing is stable. That's why they need you as their parent, you know, not asking them to return to their old self when they were a little kid, but encouraging them with your simple presence and spending time with them. So don't worry about talking to your teen or advising them. Mostly what they need is to know that you are there. Now, at all costs, here's what I would encourage you to avoid. Lecturing or nagging. If the conversation goes on for too long, it's going to be perceived as lecturing to your teen. So here are some ways to sort of, you know, get them to open up with questions that can provide you with some insights into their current state of mind so you can generally sort of understand what's going on in their life. Uh, if I was you, I would encourage you to sit down and intentionally make a list of questions that you would genuinely like to know their answer to. So some questions to kind of get this going for you is you could say, hey, who is your best friend? You know, what makes them your best friend? Who is someone in your school that you have a hard time getting along with? You know, why do you think that happens? Who's your favorite teacher at school? You know, why are they your favorite teacher? Who's your worst teacher at school? What's the teacher you absolutely hate? You know, why? Uh, ask them what they're looking forward to the most this summer. Ask them, is there, you know, as a family, if we were to go and spend a uh, you know, cool vacation together, what would we do? Where would we go? Uh, ask them what their favorite song is, and then ask them to play it for you. And then talk to them about why that song means so much to them. Again, the whole goal of this is for you to be able to get inside their mind and know what's going on with them at a time that they can't necessarily articulate that to you. So simply ask them these questions, and then if I were you, I'd practice not talking. I mean, I would really, really, really just ask them the question and then just sit there and be silent. So instead of, you know, giving advice right away or trying to, like, you know, control the conversation in a certain way, just listen, you know, maybe share similar experiences that you've had so they know that it's perfectly normal to feel like you're not sure exactly where your life is headed when you're a teenager. You know, if you had a, uh, someone at school or maybe even at, at work who was, who was mean to you or something like that, you felt excluded, you can share with your teenager that you understand and can relate to how challenging that can be. 
You know, by being vulnerable and sharing your story with your kid, it lets them know that you understand genuinely what they're going through. You know, being a parent means being a student of your kid. And for middle schoolers, for teenagers, for young teens in particular, it's all about the be with them factor. So be with them. And believe me, they need time with you and want time with you more than you can possibly know. Even if they don't articulate that, and even if they throw out signals often that seem to contradict that. Your teen, your kid, needs you to be with them. So do it. There you go.